Our district's most valuable resource is the ocean. What do we need to do to protect it? And specifically, what are your plans for the restoration of the Kings Beach Swampscott waterfront after Linshore Drive area, which has been restored a lot along the Red Rock Park area? I hope I got that. Okay. Um, so, Ms. Ehrlich. Yes. I'm happy to um, very specifically address uh, the Kings Beach area. Um, I have been a regular fixture at the Friends of Lynn and Nahan Beach meetings and have worked tirelessly to make sure that the railings were painted. That was a tremendous, um, tremendous victory. I see some uh, friends out there uh, who are part of that organization. And the lampposts have been painted. Um, I also filed an amendment in the budget to try to get the beach to be a continuous stretch of DCR property. My, the reason why state funding is important in the situation is because half of the beach is actually owned by um, DCR, which is the Department of Conservation Resources, and the other half is owned by Swampscott. So um, in the future, I'm working with local officials to try to make it one continuous stretch. And there are many other ocean issues that we could talk about, but that specifically is for the Kings Beach area. Thank you. Thank you. And Dr. Kozitsa, do you need me to repeat the question? Yes, please. Okay. So it was a long one. <laughs> Our district's most valuable resource is the ocean. What do we need to do to protect it? Specifically, what are your plans for the restoration of the Kings Beach Swampscott waterfront after Linshore Drive area, which has been restored a lot along the Red Rock Park area? The worst environmental problems that we have occur in countries and cities like Swampscott where we don't have a vibrant economy. We need to get our house in order right away, and alternatives need to be affordable. I don't know the, about the intricacies of the King Beach project, but what I do know is that before we're able to address things like this, and it's a good question, we need to get balance back in our legislature. And that includes creating transparency and balance within our legislature so that people like me who are running can actually examine things. We need to revisit the auditing house accounts legislation in order to shine a light on the financial dealings of the legislature. My opponent makes a very big deal I, about the fact. Actually, yes, I do. Okay. You have to stop there. Um, and Ms. Ehrlich, a rebuttal? Um, you have 30 seconds. Sure. Um, I'm, a, I'm a little uh, surprised at her response, my opponent's response. Um, the Kings Beach stretch is a very important part of the district. We have a entirely coastal district. All three communities have part of the coast. Um, there are many issues that come along with our, our beaches, and um, they need to be protected and respected as part of our natural, um, natural resources here on the North Shore. Thank you. Thank you. And Dr. Kozitsa. As a physician, I can appreciate how our environmental resources need to be protected. But in order to do so, we need to bring back balance and transparency to the legislature, one thing that we do not have. We need to get our ducks in order. Thank you. Thank you.